Well, percenters, welcome back. Coach Tommy here. For those that are new, I'm a psychologist, basketball coach, high school basketball coach, personal trainer, performance enhancement coach, um, so on and so forth, personal trainer, teaching tape, USC Gonzaga. I went to UCLA, so I like to watch USC lose every now and then. USC, um, UCLA's got their underdog story going, and uh, they're going to play Gonzaga. And Gonzaga is actually my favorite team right now because they play really well together. So let's watch Gonzaga and hopefully UCLA doesn't get beat down tomorrow like USC does in this game. So let's see if we can learn some stuff as we're watching, right? I'm always looking for team stuff versus the individual stuff. Go looking for players going to open spots versus open shots and then off ball versus on ball movement, man. And uh, Gonzaga is going to be a problem. They're in the full court press on these guys. I don't even see that. <clears throat> Whoa, what is this? Give me that. You better go in there harder than that. Wow, what a finish. So <laughs> as you guys are going through the lane, come on. You got to get a high pickup before that thing comes. You better put a high pickup, low pickup. But a middle pickup ain't going to cut it. It's got to go up here or it's got to go down here, man. You can't go right through the middle. Give me this. Give me your cookies. The crazy thing is USC is going to get more, more guys going to the NBA watch than uh, Gonzaga. College is different than pros. Oh, how's it travel? Travel, guys, you get away with it most of the time. So he shifts. Look. That's a big time travel. <clears throat> do it so fast. Do it with conviction. And you might not get called for it. Beautiful. Get rid of that thing. The bigs are patient in Gonzaga. Guys, when we're looking at weak spots on the court, weak spots on the court, right? On the court, not in a particular 3-2 zone, weak spots on the court, right? These are weak spots on the court. They're always going to be against any defense. So get to the weak spots. <clears throat> get it here. You got two guys looking at you, okay? Two guys having to look back, so they have no idea where he's at. He's looking at him. Nobody's coming. They're not worried. This is just fake pressure. Okay, penetrate. Okay, close down. Force the defense to make a decision, and they still don't want to guard you. Well, uh, that's probably why USC is going to lose this game. If UCLA does this. Uh, it's going to be big problems. I wonder what's the line for UCLA and Gonzaga. Maybe I'll place a little wager. There it is again, look, weak spot. Nobody coming, no respect. Hit that jumper, boy. USC has yet to adjust. Timmy. Give me that. What is going on? I mean, what are you doing? This is terrible spacing. This is terrible spacing. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you driving in when this guy's barely backing out? Euro. Um, USC is going to run out of timeouts pretty early. There's the high pickup. There's a high pickup you should be doing. Oh, so because that because they've been they they prepped. <clears throat> so as you get further into the tournament, obviously, coaches is, is they're no gonna know what's happening. So it's a five out. You got Mobley posting up by himself. You got this. You, you made your dribble dead. So look at this dude. He knows it's coming. That should have been a steal. <laughs> That should have been a steal. So, I mean, he gets a dunk, but that should have been a steal. Gonzaga was ready. Spin. 
just middle hook. Just, this is just all day. I mean, if he had this move, he can spin, right? And then bank shot it, he can spin, go left. All right, the easier move for him is to just jump right into the right hand hook. Oh, UCLA is in trouble. They got nobody can handle that, dude. Eee, that is such a tough layup. That is such a tough, tough layup. Guys, in real life, there's no straight lines. Okay, so in the game, I said this gazillion times, right? Stop practicing your layups like this, going down regular, down the lane like layup lines. And they got to come off of curves. They got to come off of curves. Okay, use arcs. Okay, so they're going to come like this. I rarely ever see somebody come all the way across, come back, and shoot it with their right leg off the right hand. That's very, very difficult to do. That's the most dribbles I've ever seen out of Gonzaga. They're usually pretty quick with it. <clears throat> he passed up a wide open three. Okay, this should have been a three. Okay, it might have been a, a jab. Okay, just to hold them and then shoot it. One dribble between another dribble. All right. Rarely do I see Gonzaga go four dribbles like that. 2.5 go two dribbles or less. 0.5 seconds or less to make a move. Like this. This is a much better one on one player, but how are you going to win? Doing this jab, dribble, dribble, back down, back down, dribble, spin, spin again. You're not going to win like that. It's going to 25. Pass, screen, pass. Oh, he had the corner guy if you want to do. So this is this is how easy that off ball action is, right? You pass, give it up here. There he goes, cutting right through the middle, right? Middle is the weak spot. You got it. Now this guy looks like he's posting, but now it's a screen, right? That post, that post position is now a screen. Um, you got a wide open three pointer if you want it. What? What the hell is going on, USC? How the hell did you end up like this? Oh my God, and you're not even on the right side of the ball. What are you going to do out there? You should be over here. If anything, this guy's not even looking. You should be on this side or moving. But you got. <clears throat> to finish. Show the ball on the right side, scoop it up at the left. All right, let's go. Let's go, USC. I kind of want them to do some good. There we go. A little catch and shoot. How to make open shots. Oh my God. This is why US is getting killed. Okay, two plays in a row. I mean, Simple, right? You bring the ball down, swing, you get an exchange here. So they switch spots, swing, a little pick and roll here, nothing there. Get rid of it, right? You don't see anything. Oh, you just take a little cheap brush pick and roll screen, settle behind, hit the jumper. Next play, okay, you drive, okay, jump, stop, pivot, nothing happening, back cut, okay. He didn't see the back cut. The post comes to the high, uh, low, from low post to the elbow. And then he's in the way. He continues the cut. Oh man, UCLA is gonna. It's gonna be a beat down tomorrow. I'm a realist, guys. <clears throat> Unless you, UCLA pulls out some magic, man. It's just some Cinderella stuff. Did that guy just drop a dime and pick it up? Ha! All right, Timmy. I like him a lot. No power. He needs to hit the weight room if he's trying to go to the NBA. Come on, Mobley. I thought your dad would have taught you better than this. Right here. He's just he he's gotta he's gotta be able to get wide. I mean, that's just weight room stuff. You have to get a little stronger. Lots of dancing.
There we go. That's a decent look. 23 to 36. Pass, pass, pump fake. Even, even, even here when it looks like Gonzaga's kind of in trouble. Get rid of it. All right, not there. Quick, right? Pump fake, relocate, get it up again. Got to play defense the whole way, man. That's why I always say offense always wins. Because uh, play really, really good defense for about 35 seconds. And, oh, my God, are you guys sensing a uh, theme here? Nobody's reacting. It's like, I'm here, dude. I'm here, dude. Well, oh, I got this guy. Well, I'm close. Well, I'm not close enough. Who's guarding this guy? So they're just sitting in this soft spot all day long. Floaters, hooks, jumpers. <clears throat> Cutting through. That's a good flop. That's a good flop. That's a good finish. Way to take that contact. Okay, so a lot of times when they flop, you tend to get mad or exaggerate or, you know, stay focused. Goes up. Great verticality here. Way to get the contact first and then release it. Someone's got to cut. Andy putting in one. That's a slightly illegal hook there. That's a come on, ref. You can get away with it. It's not a foul. This is nothing special. This is nothing special. Look at number three. Okay. Nothing special other than intensity of coming up to get this ball. Normally, a lot of guys are just going to jog. They're just going to jog. They're going to come get it. If you sprint through this thing, this, this dude is going to have to work pretty hard to navigate some screens here. Okay. Bust your butt around that corner. One screen, two screens. And then he gets spun all around. Like, Look at him. Look at number five. Where is he going, right? <clears throat> so work on curve, work on work on arcs, right? I'm gonna step back, right? What it was number five having me do? <laughs> I'm doing some crazy stuff like that. How are you gonna win like that defense? Right, this is any offense, not just I hate USC, not just because I'm a UCLA fan. This is any team. Oh, how did a tough move? I mean, that, that's a good move. Not gonna lie. One, two, spin. Had a hang, had a seal with the spin, had a hang in the air. It's a tough shot. There we go again, running them off the screen. Great defense this time by number five. Okay. <clears throat> So inside hand release off that dribble. He's not up to full speed. He's not getting a stagger. He stays with him behind the, the behind the back or inverted between the legs. Great recovery. Doesn't have time for that step back that he just did earlier, right? But then you get this guy all the way down, sucked in. He has to close out, arm up. That means you're slow. Make a decision right away. Don't jab him to death. Just go, little shimmy. This is a terrible Dorito. But it's good enough. He plays way too high. Look how quick these, these moves are. No, don't got it. Caught it. Gone. Catch it and go. Be aggressive. Look, two dribbles left, once five seconds or less going. Get all the help. Boom, wide open. It's abuse. This is freaking abuse. I wonder what the USC coaches are going there. Pound it. Feed the big men. Pound them inside. They're weak. They can't guard you. Um, you already lost from the get go, man. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, Timmy. Oh, you don't have it. You're not gonna. 
Hand it back to the corner three. Good little fake. Jump back into it. And uh, who's guarding Timmy? Who is guarding Timmy? Big time confusion. Throw it. Oh, get up there. Get up there. Okay, like the seal here, this, you know, goes to the pass. The one legged jump program is coming along, guys. It's, it's going to be released soon. It's going to be free. Huh. So it's going to be free. It's going to be awesome. I think it's uh, 14 videos teaching you guys how to dunk off of one leg. Uh, no better coach than a person that can jump off of one leg to teach you. Always been a two footed jumper. So I've improved my bounce like crazy, and I'm old. So all the tips are in there. I'm going to be there for you. Um, donate. I put in my little PayPal thing or cash app. I don't know. Hook me up with some cash if you find it useful. But I just don't want to deal with setting up a paywall and making programs and stuff like that anymore, man. Just watch it, learn, and I guarantee it works. All right. Back to Gonzaga. Oh my God, playing way too tall. Best player in USC is this white dude right here right now. <clears throat> nice little outlet pass. Woo! 41 to 62. Beat down. Get that out of here. Oh my God. I'm just envisioning UCLA getting beat down tomorrow. Timmy, Timmy. Footwork. <laughs> Two dribbles, spin. This is a quick spin, right? So normally a, a heavy drop, <clears throat> drop step. This foot will be planted here but he spins in the air. So you spin in the air and then you get two feet to balance. So this is a quick spin, not, a, not more of a power spin. It's more of a quick spin. Boom, boom. Timmy, I like him. Is he a senior? 23, you hurting, man. Look, he's, he, did he give him the elbow too? Oh yeah, he gave him the elbow too. Ah, uh, let's watch the abuse. Oh, what did he hit me with? Oh my God, what just, what, what just hit me? Oh, he's got the crazy uh, beard mustache thing going. Swing it, put it back, oh. Oh, and now, now I gotta, now I gotta watch this with a different hat on. Now I gotta watch it as a, a scouting offensive coach. This is, this is problems. Timmy's gonna be a problem. We gotta stay in his shorts all the time. Watch the weak spots, right? They're in their freaking 3-2 or 1-3-1, one, one, whatever they're running right now. Okay, you got three guards up top, one in the weak spot right on the nail. You got one in the short corner. Okay, this could be a pass if you wanted to. Okay, he comes out to set the screen. So you got one guy handing him off, swing the ball. Can you shoot? This is bad spacing. Okay, get rid of it right away. I don't know why you're double teaming right there. Okay, worst spot to double team right at the top of the key. What the hell are you doing? Why are you double teaming right here? Not sure why. Because well, you want to give up a wide open three, that's why. That's eight. That's eight. Yeah, the guy dropped down in the short corner right here. If you would have seen him with the left hand, like right here. Boop. Left hand pass. There you go. At least you got the angle and, and using your angles of the court there. There we go. Relocate. Get your feet on balance. 21 point beat down. Okay, this is defense. This is when you know the guy's spin is coming. It's like he dribbles so hard and he spins. He just takes the angle away. Can you right, hit a fake spin? Boop, right here. Take that fake spin and come back. Probably not, because that would have been ideal, but so robotic. Doesn't have that in his bag there. 
Once he's going into the spin, it's so obvious. Weak spot there. Uh, there we go again. Gonzaga, they're a problem. They're like the Utah Jazz. Boom, okay. Here comes that right into the middle, right where it says weak spot, right? Who's reacting? Okay, one person coming to me. Let's get rid of it to an easy little here. Oh, you both are coming here. Got him, coach. That's moving like a team. One-on-one. -on -one. Swing, swing, drive. Okay, 13. Yeah. Nice little move there. Is that the same guy that said it was the best guy? Yep. Don't know why he hesitated. All right, he saw it. Like, who? Who in nobody's in that corner, right? So normally a guy shooting in that corner. So he's taking away this pass of the corner. Little does he know he moved into the short corner, not the regular corner. So it's just super exposed, man. Like, oh wow, Gonzaga, Gonzaga, Gonzaga. See, post up this dude. Well, instead of standing in the corner, go into the short corner. Got him on the roll there. Yep. <clears throat> so, I mean, there, here again, this is ridiculous. USC's got good athletes. I, Get rid of it. Nothing happened. Get rid of it quick. Turn it into a pick and roll. Come off. Attack right away. You got the window there if you want to pass it. Hold him up a little bit. Make him decide who he's going to guard. The big man or you or nobody. Guards nobody. Take this floater in your eye. Oh, oh, what are they doing? Finally, this is, a lot. This is the most one-on-one. -on -one. So this is, this is not good, Doug. I mean, all this for what? All that for what? For what, right? Nothing. Could have just drove, right? And then front pivoted or pump faked and then did the exact same thing he did. Right, just go aggression. He might be killing the clock there. And then once once they get exposed, they're all staring at him. What does Timmy do? He goes right there, makes himself available. <laughs> and then he hits him first. Go for the contact first, and then go to shoot it. Create contact to create separation. Good pass there. I mean, empty the benches, coach. All right, let's let's let's, let's stop all this nonsense. All right, well, just as I feared, Gonzaga is really, really good. I, I learned that from the, the only other video I watched of Gonzaga. Um, UCLA is probably going to get beat down tomorrow. Um, that's my school. I'm still a realist. Uh, Gonzaga, they look pretty, pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to go check out the other two teams in the final four. And uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.